Hello, hello Libra, and welcome to another reading with Soulful. How are you? I hope you're doing well on this lovely weekday of Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday. <laughs> I forgot for a second there what day it was in. My head has been kind of all over the place. I've been doing a bunch of creative things and trying to, uh, writing and also uh, painting and doing just so many different things. So my head is just a little bit, but it's helping center me. It's helping center me. So let's go ahead and jump straight into your reading. Okay, Libra? All right. So this reading will be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Or if you have Libra in your chart strongly, this reading may also resonate with you. As for as per usual, if it works for you, keep it. Intuitively keep it. Look at it into this reading. See if it really resonates with you. If it does not, leave it. Kick it out the door. We don't need it if it's not for you. Okay? All right. Tell us about Libra. What messages? Whew. What happened there? It's a bit of fingers. Get an extra shuffle in there. Okay. Tell us about Libra. I'm picking up an energy right now of uh, stress. And also a bit of surprise about something. Okay, let's see. Hmm. You know, I'm not surprised. The readings I've been getting are kind of sad lately with the state of the world and what's going on and the things people think. But okay, people, I don't know if you saw my video uh, yesterday where I was a little bit emotional about everything that's going on. But don't let these things get to you so much, okay? Because I do feel that some people are very empathic and they pick up on the emotions of the collective very easily without even meaning to, okay? And this is something that I have to be sure that I'm careful with doing because I have a very big heart, um, you know, and sometimes that, if, if I don't protect that energy, okay, inside myself, I get into a very... Um, a, a state where things that I don't normally let affect me affect me and I just I feel like somebody out there needs to hear that right now okay so Libra there is an experience or something going on in your life right now that has had you in the hangman in reverse energy which you have just literally been examining and waiting you've been waiting for something and I feel that due to this hangman uh, reverse energy, as opposed to uh, when it's in the upright, get, I get an energy of someone who's learning lessons. I feel that these lessons you're learning are painful. And because of that, we've got the, uh, eight, we've got, I've got the eight of swords and then the nine of swords, okay? You are either watching what's happening right now, and this is why I feel that this message, will, <laughs> the message that I said earlier was important. You're either watching an experience unfold in front of you that is not of a positive nature and it has you really just up. Okay, you're you're up at night, you're worrying about this or it you're just you're in an internal suffering. And I feel the things that you're witnessing or the things that you see going on around you really has you emotionally and mentally disturbed okay and you feel like you're stuck and there's nothing you can do but that's not true okay you're not stuck and because of that you're having you know you, you may not be sleeping very well you may just be a little bit too much bound up in the chaos of everything that happens and and that was kind of how I was a little bit yesterday right but being aware, that's the most important thing. Being aware of these emotions. Now, this could also be a relationship, but let's find out. Okay. Okay, so Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Cups in Reverse, and Seven of Pentacles. So, it's just like I thought. You're watching something unfold I'm not sure if it's entirely what's going on right now you're watching something unfold and it has you sad okay it has you 
afraid of not only the future, um, what this means for you, what it means in your lot for your life, and also, is this going to affect all that I've worked hard on? That's what I'm hearing is, is whatever I've seen happen, you know, as the wheel turns, you're afraid that it's things are not going to turn out in your favor, okay, as you watch something unfold in front of you. And I think this is where this mental prison is coming from. Uh, also, I'm getting a sense of some Libras out there feeling like they're not confident enough to step into their own power and to realize that that power comes from within you, okay? And I feel strongly that something you're witnessing is making you feel this way. You're watching it happen and you feel like your hands are tied, okay? So the chariot in reverse, okay, it's kind of telling me a little bit here that you're reluctant to, to explore how to fix this, okay? You're reluctant to meditate about it or to gain more knowledge. And I think you do want to gain more knowledge. I'm drawn a little bit more to these, to these windows here than so much this uh, meditative state or this person here uh, dead in a sense uh, but uh, it's weird but I am sort of feeling like you want to gain more knowledge before you move forward because you have this apprehension about how to fix this you're afraid that you're not going to be able to help uh, yourself or others or offer a specific thing and I feel this energy is a little bit based in an immaturity a little bit based in like well you know I don't I don't have enough knowledge about what it is and therefore I can't do anything about it but that's not true okay uh, I said something like this in the Scorpio reading earlier it's that it's not always about having all the knowledge sometimes it's about just having the wisdom enough to know that you can make a difference no matter who you are as long as you start with yourself okay but there is a reluctance of going within and I feel that this is creating this prison that's making you feel like I can't do anything about this I can't I can't okay so because of that there's some lies being told to yourself that you're telling yourself and it's it's a causing anxiety okay and this is all an internal issue all right Some more clarity on the swords, please. Okay, so I feel that you are worried again. This is the number one thing that has you in this state, okay? You are worried that you're not going to be able to, again, help. Okay, you think that you don't have the smarts, okay? You think that you don't have the book smarts or the intelligence to strategize something to help this situation that you're watching unfold in front of you that you want to do something about, okay? And because of that, it's kind of causing uh, a little bit of a block, okay? It's kind of stopping you from being able to work together with others at the same time because I think that whatever has you in anxiety... Uh, this either it's a relationship or an experience or just yourself okay whatever has you in this anxiety state is stopping you from moving forward to actually work with yourself internally and with others if that so befits you if you want to work with us I mean we don't have to work with others unless we want to that's all down to personal preference you know are you a hive mind person or are you a person who would rather do things on your own that's perfectly fine Okay, and I do feel that um, sometimes we think that we need to be a part of a bunch of stuff. I used to have these thoughts too that we needed all these people around us to support us and be of this mind and the like mind and the same mind and, and to do this. And while it's nice to have that support, you also have to be careful that sometimes those hive mind uh, sort of 
um, mentalities can be quite alienating. And if you do something to upset these people, they will turn on you. Okay. Um, but what I'm saying is that if you want to work with someone, Make sure you trust that person, whoever it is that you want to work with on this specific issue. Okay, someone who will not judge you or belittle you from having too much or too little knowledge. Um, someone that allows you to help you break through this block by letting you not only be yourself, but accepting that we all have our own garbage here. Okay, and I think that for you, Libra, this is important. This is important. This specific experience you're going through is very important to you. Okay, so it's going to require not only the ability to understand yourself, but it's going to require the ability to understand your limitations and the limitations of others. Okay, all right. Let's see. What energies currently are surrounding Libra? Queen of Swords in reverse, King of Cups, and uh, Four of Wands in reverse. Okay, so again with the, the, the criticalness, the self-criticalness, uh, this is what I'm feeling. And I feel that Libra, either you know someone, possibly a water sign, or this is you, okay, trying to grasp onto an emotional maturity about this emotional maturity about yourself because I feel this specifically where you are in touch with your emotions and maybe that is what's causing you to be overly critical towards yourself and what others might think of you okay and it's all right to be the king of cups it's okay to be more emotionally in tune with yourself not everybody has the same energetic feels not everybody has the same purpose for being okay and I feel that because of this over criticalness and stuff you're looking uh, to build not only with yourself, but maybe with others. And you're afraid you're not going to get that if you don't have the proper knowledge or the proper experience or whatever. And you're worried that it's going to break down your chance at building a foundation for yourself in this experience or in this relationship. Okay. So Libra, overly critical of yourself. That's what I'm getting. Overly critical of yourself maybe overly critical of your emotional abilities because it's possible here from what I'm seeing, you are an emotional person, Libra, and you maybe even be creative, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and pull some cards from the universe for Libra and see what exactly Source Creator has to say to encourage you to work through this block. You're worried a lot, Libra. You're worried uh, uh, way too much about this when if you want to go for something just go for it do you need the approval of others i think not okay i think not the only approval right now that matters for you is you and i think that you're worrying about this i think you're worrying about uh whether or not <laughs> you're sufficient but you know what you are you are libra you are okay step out of your comfort zone all right North node. You might want to look into your north node. This may actually help. This may actually help you to uh, break through this block. Okay. Whenever I see the north node and south node cards, sometimes I say, "Look into this," because it's possible if you look at the sign in your north node, you will re learn something about yourself. If you have your chart, or go get your chart done somewhere. If you or you have a trusted astrologer, okay, go have a look at your at your north node and see if this specific issue has something that can help you with this and. You know, step out of this zone of the hangman in reverse. Okay, stop watching, start doing. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, next up. Tell us. Tell us. We like to hear the message. Okay, don't let pride get in your way. All right. Again, I feel like this is boiling down to the issue of um, this Knight of Cups in reverse here. While you're afraid that you cannot do it correctly or you're afraid that you just don't have the, I want to say mental agility or acuity, but whatever it is you feel like you can't do, um, it's, it's creating a bit of a, a, pride, a prideful energy, okay? That emotionally is, is also stopping you because I think that maybe 
um, emotion. You're too far in your emotions just a little bit, and that pride is existing. That's stopping you, or it's 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 a part of this block. Okay. What is it you're proud of? That's what I'm curious about. Maybe it's the ability to examine, to watch, to see, to see what's happening around you. That's kind of how I feel. And maybe that's where this Queen of Swords energy is also coming from in reverse. Perhaps you're critical not only of yourself, but also of others who you may have worked with in the past. Okay, one more. Meditate and contemplate. Yeah, you know, we have that card in here. Um, where'd it go? <laughs> it's somewhere under here. It was a meditation, okay? Meditate and contemplate. We've got our four. And and I feel that here's the thing. You all of us have an inner library, okay? All of us have an inner library of knowledge of where we can where it contains not only secrets about ourselves, but also about the universe. And if you spend some time to meditate and contemplate, you will realize that that's just the first step, okay? And you can go miles with that first step. It's, I mean, it's like jumping across a chasm, all right? If you start with yourself inside, okay, stay away from all this garbage that's distracting you while you're in the hangman in reverse and realize that inside of you is where you'll actually gain the information that you truly need to move forward. Okay, Libra, so what you do is entirely up to you from this point forward. I hope you enjoyed this message and that it helped you, okay? Bye, Libra.